Hi, my name is Justin Calvalli with Engineering Pro Guides, and this is another video for the FE Mechanical Exam, specifically on the probability and statistics topic, which on the FE Mechanical Exam accounts for four to six problems out of the total 110 problems. This video specifically focuses on probability distributions and understanding the terms you need for this topic. So before we get to prob probability distributions, you need to understand some of the basic topics in probability, like the difference between samples and population, mean, mode, standard deviation. So as you go through these topics, you should remember that probability is used in mechanical engineering to measure the reliability of a set of data points. So the first term that you need to understand is mean or average. The mean of a set of data points is calculated by summing up all the values and dividing by the total number of data points. The mean is also known as the average. So the equation is shown here. So sometimes this term can also be called the arithmetic mean, and the example calculation is shown here below. So we have a data set of 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 4, and 10, and we add those values together divide by the total number of data points, and find that our average is 3.43. The second term is mode. The mode is the measure value that appears the most in a set of data points. So in the previous sample data set, the mode will be 2, since it appears 3 times, which is much more than any of the other data points. The next term is median. The median is the measured value that occurs in the middle of the data set. The median is found by first ordering all the data points in ascending or descending order, then finding the middle value. If there is no middle value, when there are two middle values, actually, when, there, when you have even number of data points, then you must take the average between the two middle values. Luckily for the previous data set, we have an odd number, so we have three values on the left, three values on the right, and we order in ascending order and the middle term is 2. So our median is 2. The geometric mean is used to give equal weight to a set of data points with high volatility. So the geometric mean is found in multiplying the data points and taking the nth root of the product, where n is equal to the number of data points. <clears throat> so the equation is shown here, and if we use the previous data set, we get a geometric mean of 2.67. Our Arithmetic mean was 3.43, shown here. So what the geometric mean did was um, it made sure that the value 10 was not um, impacting the mean more than all the other values. So it has less of an impact in this geometric mean as opposed to the arithmetic mean, where it brought up the average much higher compared to what the majority of the values are with 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, and 3 and 4. So on the FE exam, just be careful to read the problem correctly and make sure you calculate the correct mean. And if the question does not specifically state geometric mean, then you can assume that arithmetic mean is what is required. The next term is standard deviation. A standard deviation is used to characterize the amount of variation between a set of values. So a set of values with a large variation may lead you to not trust the average or those values or the set of values. So a set of values with a small variation will more likely lead you to trust the average of those values because it is a better representation of the set of values. So large variations imply volatility, while small variations imply consistency and reliability. In order to calculate standard deviation, you must first calculate the mean, then calculate the difference for each value from the mean, then take the square of these differences and sum up the square of them, and finally divide by the number of data points, and then take the square root of the sum. So the equation is shown here. <clears throat> so we have the difference between the individual data point and the mean, and we take the square of those values and sum them up, divide by the total number of data points, and take the square root. So also in the FE reference handbook, they make a distinction between the standard deviation for the population and the sample. Same with mean for the population or mean for the sample. So population is used to describe the entire set of data points, whereas 
a sample is when you is a subset of the entire population, and it's used to um, <clears throat> like like how its term states it is a sample of the population. So instead of measuring every single value within the population, or every single widget or device in the population, you take the sample as a representation of the population, and this will lead us into the probability distribution tables. This difference between population and sample and how we use a sample to represent the entire population.